Good morning. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, and today we are reading the book Everybody Scattered on Willbooks.com. And your child will definitely notice a pattern in this book, and it's that an animal or someone is scattering on each page. So if they don't understand what the word scattered mean means, I would definitely have that conversation with your child, letting them know what it means to scatter, or let them read the book and tell you afterwards what it means to scatter because I'm sure they'll figure it out as it goes. And you'll also be asking them the question, where did the birds scatter to? As a comprehension question. In language today, we're doing pages 47 and 48 and we are working on pronouns again, but not just any pronoun, possessive pronouns. And this is a big word and it's one that your child probably has not heard yet in class. And possessive means you own something, it's the ownership of something. So it's replacing that word that belongs to somebody, but also it's about the ownership of something. So for example, I live in a house on Maple Street. The possessive pronoun would either be my or its, because you're talking about the house that I live in. So here we would say blank house is green. Would we say its house is green or my house is green? If I live in a house on Maple Street, then it's my house. So that's what they're doing on the first page. And then on the back, it's a little more confusing. So I definitely wanna explain this. Um, it's not as simple as just putting a word from the word box in here. They need to think about what this sentence is saying. It says, Maria has a book. So if Maria has it, it is her book. So it wants the noun and what is owned. What's owned is the book and the pronoun is her. So Maria has her book. For I have a balloon, if it's mine, I, then it would be my balloon. So definitely wanna have a conversation with your child about that if they're a little confused. I, I think they might be for this page. It's kind of a challenge for them. For math, we are um, doing one more and 10 less. So taking away a whole group of 10. So that's going to be a little tricky for them too. So you have one more than 25. If this is 25, just adding one more and knowing that's 26. If they could even draw another one and count it if that helps them. And then doing 10 more, that means they would need to add a whole other group of 10 to help them count. Um, and they could do that in blocks, they can do it in whatever the image is, but then being able to say that that added group, the 10 more group is 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So this might take them some time. Over here, it's a little different, just counting up the different groups and finding the answer. So not one more or one less. Um, but it is showing the same idea, which is adding 10 to each group. So here, there was not a group of 10. Now there is. Well, what is the answer when you add 10? Same here, another group of 10 is added. So just showing them the relationship between those things, and that will probably help them to be able to visualize what adding a group of 10 is. And then on education.com for math, they are doing kind of just like a fun little creative activity, which is creating mosaics out of shapes. So just, uh, it's less about the understanding or getting it right and more about being creative and making some art with shapes. For writing, uh, we are moving on to the next step in our writing project, and that is writing the first detail. So you're going to take the same paper you had from yesterday, and you are going to be looking at whatever your first detail was and adding it to the sentence below your topic sentence. So this is, um, if you're talking about the hamburger paragraph, this is like your first condiment. So it's either your first lettuce, tomato, the burger, whatever you want to call it, but it's one of those first details. So for mine, 
I had the topic sentence, I'm going to tell you all about my favorite things about home. And then my first detail will say, one of my favorite things at home is chicken, my cat, using that detail to help me write that. And then there is another example right here on the lesson plan, so you can see that there too. And there's more than one way to write this, so feel free to let them be creative with how they want to write their first detail. And that's it for tomorrow, so let me know if you need any help. I am here to help as always, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.